Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. Hope you all are doing great. So today we're going to see how we're going to install Cisco Layer 2 and Layer 3 router as well as switch images on EVENG. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So before installing any of the images in EVENG, you need to have WinSCP. So basically what WinSCP is, that WinSCP is a software with the help of it, you can upload the IOL and iOS images on EVENG. So let's, let's first log into WinSCP. So you can see here the IP address as 10.8. So this is the same IP address using which I have logged into EVNG. You can see here on my screen that uh, this is the same IP address which I have used. Okay, so yeah, so I have logged into WinSCP and the password is EVE. Okay, so this is the way I have logged into my WinSCP. Okay, the next step is that I have to go to the root folder and under root you have to find OPT, double click on it, then unit lab, then add-ons, then dynamips. So this is the exit path you need to follow and under WinSCP you can see here on this dashboard that the left hand side considered it as whatever the storage you have in your current laptop or pc on which you are using the same and the right hand side is the 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 storage which needs to which you have you are uploading the same image to evng so what we are doing is that we are dragging from left hand side to right hand side to copy all those images to our evng so first I'll go to the D drive where I have the folder for that L2 routers. Okay, so I'll double click on this and I'll go to this folder. I'll go to D drive and I have all my images of the router here. So you can see here this the two image for the router. So what I'll do is I'll click on this and I'll drag it to right hand side. I'll do it for the same for C7200 as well. So after you can see here that this is under the same link or you can see the same path that I have pasted the two image. Now what happened that I need to have permissions for this two router image. So for that I have to go to WinSCP and I have to type one command as slash opt slash unit lab slash add ons or else I'll type I'm sorry the exact command is wrapper wrappers slash unl wrappers slash unl underscore wrapper colon a space fix permissions Okay, so I'm I'll, I'll paste this this command uh, below this video description so this will help you out in uh, pasting the exact sa same uh, command in EVENG as well okay so we are done with this so we are allotting the permission as well now what we'll do is that we'll log into our uh, EVENG I have already logged in using the same IP address as what uh, I, I get it in my EVNG is 192.168.10.8 and you can see here that I'll add one lab I'll add as new router so I'll give my lab name here you can see here this is a blank screen I'll right click on it I'll click on node and I'll just scroll it down you'll see here this is the two routers I have uploaded the image using Dynamips okay I'll click on this so whatever number of routers you want to add i'm adding two routers i'll click on save and you can see here the two image you can have the connections to both of the router you can see here the interface you can select the interface as well and you can click on save you can click right click on it you will start you click on this and you will start you will double click on this and you will have the cli mode for the same Okay, so this is the way I am adding the two routers. 
now i am uploading the layer 2 and layer 3 switches as well so please follow this same video till end so you will get to know everything that how am i uploading the same and i'll also be uploading the uh, the bin file as well as the l2 and l3 images below the link description i'll give you the drive details so please go to the drive and you will get the you you can easily download it yeah so again i'll go to win scp and again i'll go to root okay and i'll follow the same as opt as unit lab add adds on and now i'll go to iol okay and again in iol i'll click select bin so this is the path for the l2 and l3 switch images okay and i'll again have my different folder for this as uh, i'm sorry so this is the exact bin files i have to copy all those files to right hand side i'll select this i'm dragging this here i'm select this i'm dragging this here so this is the way you can just drag and drop from left hand side to right hand side So you can see here that I've copied all these images, the bin files from left hand side to right hand side. Now again, I, I have to go to PVENG and I have to give the same permission as well for the same. Okay. Now let's go to the Chrome once again, go to the node. Okay. S scroll it down. You will see here Cisco IOL, which is a blue color. Double click on it and you will see here the L2 and the l3 image i'm selecting my l2 switch image and select the image as well from the drop down menu you will see here i'm selecting the image for the layer 2 and this is the way i can able to start it as well i'll again go to the node i scroll it down this is iol and select as layer 3 i'll select as layer 3 image as this i'll click on save i'll click on start so this is the way you can able to see here that and the notification the router and the switches both got started i'll just have to rename the name as well which i can able to do it you even you can easily able to do it by right clicking on the same so this is the way we can upload the ios images for the router as well as the switches so this is it and uh, i'll upload all the bin file uh, below the description uh, i'll give you the entire link for my drive details so please follow it and uh, please follow the same step and please watch this video till the end and thank you so much for watching thanks bye take care